how's it going? Uh, today we're gonna go over how to draw a wolf howling. Uh, I guess you could say like a werewolf, but it's not really a werewolf. It could be a werewolf, but it's a wolf. Uh, so I'm not gonna mislabel it like that. So let's get started. I'm gonna be using this uh, paper, which is basically computer paper, and I'm gonna be using this Faber-Castell marker. You can use whatever marker you want. You can use a pencil if you want. This one's not gonna be big on, you know, shading in masses of black, so it's fine. So anyways, let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull a line down, and I'm gonna start with the bottom of the mouth. Pull up. Pull down, as the front of the snout. up right here into the kind of the front of the eyes pull back along the head pull back here oh, that's for the ear pull up it's kind of completed the ear there Out, in, down, straight down to kind of the front feet. Pulling an arch right there for the foot. Pulling back. Pull up. And all the way up, let's see if this can be up the arm, but it's not gonna be all the way up. And I'm gonna pull down here for the far side arm. Down. Pull down here. Back. I'm gonna be careful there. I'm gonna run off the page, so I gotta be careful. And then what I do is I'm gonna pull an arch right here for the hind leg. Straight out. Down. Straight back. And I'm gonna connect that for, for the hind leg. I'm gonna pull in here for the stomach area. And then I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the tail. I'm gonna pull it pretty close because I'm about to round the page, so I gotta be careful. And then I'm gonna put a little zigzagging as it goes down, because usually the back of the tail is like kind of fluffy. And I could pull the hind leg over here as well, shape for the hind leg. And then I'm gonna put a split right there for the actual foot. Um, and then I am going to draw a bit of an upside down U for the eye shape. It's gonna be closing its eye right when they do that. And I'm gonna find the edge of the nose here. And I'm going to fill that in. I'm gonna go over here to the ear. I'm gonna put a little zigzag shape, and that's gonna be some minor fur that separates the ear from, from that. So one thing I do is I'm gonna go back and I'm going to, uh, oh, actually before, yeah, that's kind of it really. That's more, mostly for the drawing. So what I wanna do is I wanna put a differentiation in color. So I am going to do a thin line, right? And I'm gonna run that from the nose down here along the face, pulling out. Z a kind of a zigzag shape here. Down. Pulling out. Zigzag shape here. And so you have kind of a discoloration, you know, like for counter shading here. And so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a thicker liner on the contour just to kind of make it look um, extra, you know, I don't know, I just like that look. So I'm gonna throw 
I'm gonna thicken the line. It doesn't have to be all the way around. I'm just gonna thicken the line in general, whether it be on the inside or the outside. While I'm doing it, I'm gonna talk to you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, Halloween is almost here. I'm gonna be posting three times every single weekday, so definitely stick around. It'll be amazing and it'll be fun. Uh, one thing I wanna do is I wanna emphasize to you that uh, if you subscribe, it's totally free and there's no bad part to it. It's, it's not really going to give you every notification. It'll give you plenty. Uh, also, it'll set you up for next year uh, when I start posting again. I'm gonna, I am gonna—I am going to post a little bit through the year, but it's not going to be that much. Um, obviously, not at the same rate as, uh, you know, end of August, September, uh, November. I'm sorry, end of August, September, October. Uh, I will be posting a bit in November as well. I'm probably going to be posting the same rate even a week after Halloween. Uh, and then I'll start to slow it down a bit and I'll try to figure that out. Maybe I'll post like once a day after that. Um, but yeah, we'll, I'll, I'll have to kind of figure that out with you. Uh, I'll have to figure that out as well. And then I know December I will be posting a lot of like Nightmare Before Christmas type stuff. Uh, stuff that's like similar, like obviously Halloween related. Uh, for sure, Nightmare Before Christmas is a huge one because that's a, such a big movie for uh, Christmas and Halloween. It's kind of an amazing, genius movie in that way. Uh, in many ways, but in that way also. Um, so that's why I want you to... Uh, yeah, like basically watch out for that. Uh, January is where it's going to be very little. I'm probably going to post maybe once a week. If that, uh, it's going to be mostly like, uh, you know, maybe horror movie stuff, uh, you know, that kind of thing. And then February is really dead. And then it's going to be pretty much dead until, uh, like I said, I'll still post it a bit. Uh, and you will get those notifications if you subscribe. Uh, it's going to be very little uh, around like February to probably till early August the next year. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much the way I'm going to run things. <laughs> trying to fix, excuse me, I hiccuped. I'm um, trying to fix this line around here a little bit. Uh, so that's pretty much the way I'm going to run things. And if you have any suggestions or you have any things you want me to draw, let me know. Um, even if they're not directly Halloween, but they have to be kind of spooky or scary. It can't just be like, I'm going to draw a cute uh, rabbit or something like that. Unless it's like a rabbit from an, a horror movie or... Because this is like a howling wolf, right? I mean, that's Halloween-ish. Uh, but yeah, it has to be something related, okay? And definitely recommend that in the comment section if you have it. I'm collecting a lot of those and I'm kind of compiling a list that I have that I look at and then I kind of, uh, you know, either make those happen or I'm kind of like, eh, it's not going to happen. So thank you so much. I appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think and I will talk to you in the very next video and I need you to stay spooky.